Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. That will help me to grow my channel. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that knowing that the tension in cable AB is 425 Newton, determine the components of the force exerted on the plate at B. So we are given the magnitude of the tension in cable AB which is 1425 newton we are asked to determine the components of the force exerted on the plate at b so we have to find the component of the tension in this rope along x y and z we have to find all the three components so in order to consider the tension force we need to cut this rope as a for a free body diagram so let me cut this rope so let's say that somewhere here i cut the rope and the force will be acting from b to a since we want to find the effect of this tension at point b so the tension force must be acting like this so this will be the tension from b to a so we want to find the components of the tension from b to a which has a magnitude of 1425 newton now we can always write that the tension from b to a vector this will always be equal to the magnitude times the unit vector the unit vector will be from b to a lambda b to a is the unit vector now we can write that the magnitude is 1425 lambda b to a and now we know that this TBA vector, this will be equal to 1425 multiplied by the unit vector from B to A. And the unit vector from B to A can be written as the position vector from B to A divided by the magnitude of that position vector. So this is that lambda B to A. This is that lambda B to A, the position vector from B to A divided by the magnitude of that position vector. Now, what is the position vector? The position vector is a vector uh, which tells us the position of a point relative to another point. So, the position vector from B to A will be a vector which will tell us the position of point A relative to B. Now, we can say that uh, the B to A vector will be equal to dx i plus dyj plus dzk now what is dx dy and dz so this dx is the distance between point a and b along the x-axis or we can say that how far this point a is from point b in the x direction so the distance between point a and b along the x-axis is dx and the distance between point A and B along the y-axis. So this is point B, this is point A. So this is the distance between point A and B along the y-axis. And the distance between point A and B along the z-axis. So this is the distance between point A and B along the z-axis. Or we can say, we can talk about the position vector in one another way we can say that how much distance i need to travel from b in the direction of x to travel that point a so that will be our dx and then how much distance i need to travel from b in the direction of y to reach that point a so that point a is at a height of 600 mm so from point b i need to travel 600 mm in the in the direction parallel to the y-axis so i will reach point a so i will recommend you guys that always find the position vector by starting at point b and traveling in the x y and z direction and try to reach that point a by traveling in any order you can travel from from b to c and then from c to d and then from c to o then from O some distance travel and then you can come in here right you can always find the position vector by traveling by starting the motion uh, by starting your observation from point B and then travel along the X Y and Z 
parallel to the x, y and z axis in order to reach that point A. So now it's very easy and never write the position vector. This is the mathematical representation of the position vector. But I will not use this. We can write that the position vector from B to A will be. So now I will start from B. And then from B, I need to travel this distance. And I need to travel this distance in the negative x. So this distance is how much? This is 900 mm. So first, I need to travel 900 mm distance in the negative x. This is the positive x. I need to travel in the negative x. So I will reach point O. Then from point O, I need to travel this distance in the positive y. And this distance is 600 mm. So I will reach somewhere here. And then from this particular point, I need to travel this distance. And this distance is parallel to the z-axis. And this is in the positive z. So this distance is 360 mm. And this is in the positive z. So again, we need to travel 900 mm distance in the negative x. 600 distance in the positive y and 360 mm in the positive z so we will reach that point a so let me write that we need to travel 900 mm in the negative x so i will write minus 900 i this distance this is 900 mm in the negative x then this distance so this distance is 600 mm in the positive y so plus 600 in the positive j so this distance, then this distance, and then we need to travel this distance. So this distance is 360 mm, and this is in the positive z. So we will write that plus 360 mm in the positive k. So this is the position vector from B to A. Now, if we are given this position vector from B to A, we can say that point A is 900 mm apart from B in the negative x direction. Similarly, we can say that point A is 600 mm apart from B in the j direction, that is in the positive y direction. And similarly, we can say that the distance between point A and B in along the z axis is 360 mm. So this is how we can write the position vector. Now we can find the magnitude of the position vector. We can always apply the Pythagoras theorem. So that will be 900 square plus 600 square plus 360 square under the square root never care about the minus sign while finding the magnitude since if we take the square of minus 900 that will become positive so 900 square 600 square plus 360 square 360 square that will give us the magnitude of the position vector from b to a so this is 900 square plus 600 square plus 360 square and this gives us 1140 so 1140 and the units will be the units of this is in mm remember this is in mm so this will be in mm as well so the magnitude of the position vector from b to a is 1140 mm and this magnitude tells us that the direct distance between point b and a is 1140 mm this is very important the magnitude of the position vector always tells us the direct distance from those two points so now we can use this equation we can write the uh, okay let's find the position vector um, b to a in one another manner right i will find the position vector from b to a and now i will travel in some random way right so i will start from b and then i will travel this point c so when i travel this point c uh, this total distance is 900 plus 360 and this is in the positive z so i will write 920 let me write this somewhere here right so 920 plus 360 and this is in the positive k direction we have traveled in the positive z direction parallel to the z axis so we will reach point c then from point c to reach that point a we need to travel this distance so this distance is in the negative x and this is 900 mm so i will write minus 900 in the negative i 
So first I, I travel this distance in the positive z, then I travel this distance, and then I travel back that same distance in the neg in the negative z, that is in the negative k. So I have traveled that same distance, 920 and 360, in the negative z. So I will write minus 920 plus 360, but in the negative k. So I reach that point O. And then from point O, I, I need to travel that 600 mm distance in the positive y. So plus 600 um, mm in the positive j. So I will reach this point and then from here I need to travel this distance in the positive z. So that is 360. So plus, plus 360 in the positive k. So now as we can see that we this term and this term they cancel out. We can aid the k term with k term. So they cancel out. And we are left with that same position vector from B to A that is minus 900 plus 600 plus 360. So we got that same position vector from b to a similarly we can do this one in one another way we can travel from from b to a in in one another way so let me write the position vector from b to a like this let me write the, the position vector from b to a so now first i start from b and first i travel this distance this distance is 900 and this is in the negative x so i will write minus 900 in the 900 in the negative i so i reach here then i travel this distance so this distance is how much this is again 920 plus 360 and this is in the positive z so i will write plus 920 plus 360 and this is in the positive k so i will reach this point d and then from this point d i need to travel this distance and this is parallel to the y-axis and this is in the positive y and this distance is 600 mm so i need to travel plus 600 in the positive j so first i have traveled 900 mm in the negative x then this distance in the positive z then 600 mm in the positive y and then i need to travel this distance and this distance is in the negative z and this is now 920 so i will write minus 920 k or we can say 920 mm in the negative k so now we have that minus 900 i minus 900 i plus 600 j and 920 plus 360 so this will become 920 k and 360 k plus 920k and minus 920k they will cancel out and we will be left with 360k so we will be left with that same position vector from b to a so the position vector from b to a is minus 900i 600j and plus 360k so we got that same position vector and it doesn't matter that how we travel from b to reach that point a along the uh, x y and z axis in any direction in any method right so we will always get the same position vector since we cannot change the position of point a relative to b so the mathematics is always right you can use any method to find the position vector so the position vector from b to a is now this we will use this so the the tension from b to a vector is equal to 1425 multiplied by the position vector from b to a is now minus 900 i plus 600 j plus 360 k and the magnitude is 1140 we have determined that magnitude which is 1140 mm remember that the unit vector has a magnitude of one always right so this is in mm and this is in mm so there is no need to to care about the units since the units are cancelled out that is millimeter cancel with millimeter and we will get the this uh, vector tba in newtons since this 1425 is in newtons so now we can write that tba vector will be equal to 1425 multiply by we need to divide each of these component by this magnitude and multiply it with this 
so this is 1425 into minus 900 divided by 1140 i plus 1125 multiplied by 600 divided by this is multiplication remember this is 140 and plus 1425 360 divided by 1140 this is in the positive j this is in the positive k so now let's find all these components this is now very simple 1425 multiplied by minus 900 divided by 1140 so tba vector is equal to minus 1125 i then for the j component this is 600 plus 750 j and plus uh, 360 so that is 450 k so the the components of the tension at point b is this is the the x component of the tension at point B. So we can write that uh, T B A um, x component magnitude is um, 1125, and that is in the negative x, so minus 1125 Newton. Remember that this is in Newton. T B A y component is uh, this plus 750 newton and the z component is 450 newton so these are those uh, components at point b due to that tension in cable ab so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by Baron Johnston and also share engineers academy videos with your friends and classmates so that we can reach out many more students and this is a free help to all the students community around the world